Well, hello everybody. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time since I recorded a video and I'm going to apologize for that. What can I say? I got no excuses. I just fell off. I fell off the YouTube ship. I mean, I didn't even do really any makeup. I was just chilling. Like, sorry, it's summertime. I live in Spain. It's beautiful. I don't want to do no makeup. Excuse me. Nobody else is wearing makeup around here. Look around. Makeup? Nope. See any makeup? Nope. But, sorry, again, so anyways. You guys were asking me over and over again to make a video and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. This is the look I did for you guys today. I used a bunch of Nabla Cosmetics, which I just received a bunch of them. Uh, it's a company from Italy. They have these amazing products and I love them all, so I'm using a bunch of their eyeshadows on my eyes right now. Um, I also did more than one look for this video. I decided that this would be like an intro to how I really do my makeup, kind of like my creative process. I started with a dark brown smoky eye with a nude waterline and I built it up to be this look. So it's kind of like, can't make up your mind but also just let your makeup take you wherever it ends up going. That's kind of how I do my makeup. I usually don't have an idea like exactly what I'm gonna do. Maybe I see a color that I start with and I just keep adding and adding until I feel like I'm done. So this video is going to give you guys insight into my real creative process. And I think you just want to see the makeup, so I'm going to get to it. Oh, Here we go. So these are the palettes I'm going to be using on my eyes. They're the Nabla Cosmetics. They're called Freedom Palettes, and they come empty, kind of like Z palettes, but smaller. Um, this is the, what is that, 12, and then the other one is 6. I did a freeze frame here so you guys could take in the beauty of the colors. I was going to do a little text box over each one to tell you the name, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. Sorry. Here's the rest of the colors. So this is the 6 palette. So this is perfect, especially if you're traveling, to throw a couple colors inside. So what I did is I started with Sculpting Cream on my eye. It's a MAC product. Uh, limited, sorry, but I love it. Accentuate is my favorite color. And this color is called Camelot. And I'm using a MAC 239 brush to apply it all over my whole eyelid. I'm going to be doing a couple different layers um, just to pretty much build up the color and make it really solid. What I'm not doing is taking it above my crease because after, you guys are going to see, after I finish the lid, I'm going to take a blending brush just to really buff out that line but I don't want to take it too high up, so I'm really taking the shadow, packing it on the lid, and stopping right at the crease. So after I'm done applying the color to my lid, I'm going to be taking a MAC 224 brush, just to buff out the edges of where I applied the shadow to my lid, buffing it into the crease, but not too, too high yet. See, now I have nothing on the brush, it's just clean. I like doing this technique if you don't want your eyeshadow to get too out of hand, like if you don't want it to be too smoky, just applying it to the lid and then buffing the crease out so it's not a harsh line, and then you can leave it there. Obviously, this look ends up being more dramatic than what I'm describing there, so I'm going in now with more of the Camelot, and this will deepen up the crease just a little bit more than it already was. As I told you guys, this is sort of a glimpse at my creative process. Initially, I was thinking of doing just a dark brown matte smoky eye. So that's why I'm taking so much time to build this up and blend this out. But if you were going to end up with the final look that I have, you wouldn't necessarily have to do all of this work. So now I'm just using a bigger 224 just to buff out all of that shadow that I just added. I really, You really can't blend enough with this type of look just to make it super, super diffused without any lines. That's the whole key. Now I'm going in with... One of my new must-have shadows, this one is called Caramel or Caramel, I don't know how you all say it. And this is kind of like MAC Uninterrupted, but just a tiny bit darker with a little bit more impact, but it's not too muddy. So I'm using this just to give the eyes a little bit more depth, kind of warm it up around the edges, and I'm using a 224 still for that. Um, still just blending, blending, blending. Now I'm going to go in with that 239 brush with Camelot just to smoke out the bottom lash line. This is going to be my first layer of smoky bottom lash line. You guys will see this is like a process. So first I apply the shadow, then I blend it out. Then I'm going to take a pencil, smudge it underneath, you'll see the whole thing. But it's like three or four layers underneath there to make it look so, so smudgy. So this is a pencil brush and I have a dark matte purple eyeshadow called Mimesis on that and so I'm doing that just to add a little bit of color underneath there and it's actually darker than the Camelot. Now I'm going in with Nabla, this is their nude pencil. This is great for the waterline, you can also use it on your lips if you want to create something a little bit more nude or sometimes people like this for overdrawing the lips, I don't really do that but this is my new go-to for the waterline for the nude color. It doesn't irritate my eyes which I always have a problem with. 
So this is MAC Feline, and as I told you guys, I'm going to be going in with a pencil and smudging and all of that good stuff. So I'm just adding this to the very outer edge. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and smudge that out. So there's no lines, but as, as you can see, I'm kind of bringing it a little bit further in than I applied it. That's why you only want to put it right on the outer edge, because that pencil will move. So just put a little bit out there, then taking your pencil brush, you can take it and bring it in a little bit farther. Check yourself out, squint. I can't see anything, so I'm always making this face. My boyfriend's continuously making fun of me. Now, I kind of decided I'm going to be adding a little bit more purple. Here's when I decided, okay, I guess this eye's going to be changing a little bit. So I'm taking that Mimesis color with the 239 brush, and I'm packing that right into the crease of my eye. As you can see, this time I did start with the inner corner because I was kind of thinking, okay, the inner corner is going to be darker. Anytime you want the shadow to be darker, you want to start with the brush there. So I apply it first through the whole crease. Now I'm going back in still with the 224, blending out the shadow that I just applied. There's like 75 blending steps here, so just stay with me. Now adding just a smidge bit more of the Mimesis with the 224. So that's going to give me a really, really blended out look, but it's kind of starting to deepen that under eye a little bit more slowly. Now you can see uh, this is kind of the brown. This is like the last blooms that you have before I start going buck wild, adding shimmer and all this other stuff. So here I have, this is Push Makeup from Ireland. This is one of their gel pencils. This one is called Gold Mine. And what I'm doing is I'm sort of etching out that inner tear duct because I want it to be sort of defined, but also I'm gonna smudge it out with this pencil brush. So I like the pencil for that because you can be really precise where you're putting the color. So you can see how just that one little step really brightened up the eye. So I'm gonna do the other side, but I'm gonna be doing this in layers. So I apply it, smudge it a little bit, add some more, Smudge it again, add some more. I'm big on layering. I think that really gives you the impact of the makeup with a lot of different dimension. I think this gold is a super, super pretty color. They also have a bunch of other cool colors, like a really bright blue and a copper and stuff. Wow, I'm so excited. Check out this face. Anyways, let's keep going. Here comes more sparkles. I'm going to be using Nabla in Glitz. That's it right there. And I decided to wet it with a little bit of Fix Plus. I'm using... Um, kind of like a fluffy flat brush to apply this so it doesn't go on too harsh and I can still sort of blend it out with the dry part of the brush. And I started applying it right to the center of the lid and just working my way out a smidge but still keeping the inner and outer corners matte. So I'm just doing a little bit more of another layer, taking it up into the crease but not above where I applied that dark purple. Speaking of dark purple, I'm going to be using it again. I'm going to start with more Memesis on the brush. This is a 239, first starting on the inner tear duct and then going to the outer crease. This is going a little bit on top of where I just applied that gold right on the edge to blend out the where the where the gold and the purple stop, but also to give it a little bit more dimension again. Then what do you know, blending out the, the color that I just applied. Obviously, anytime I apply something with like a really blunt brush, unless I wanted to have an edge, I'm going to blend. Here you guys can see the difference between my purple and gold added, and then this one is just kind of the matte brown that I originally planned out to have. Well, you know, I can never really plan things out. That's my life. Just going to pop the gold on the other eye, do a little bit more etching out with the purple. Do it quickly because you guys already know how to do this. You're pros. I already did it. Okay, what else? So one reason I chose these particular shadows in the particular place that I put them is to really bring out dimension in my eye. As you guys can tell, since I'm using matte next to something with a shine, it really makes the eye have a lot more dimension. So I have that shine right in the center of my lid and then the mattes right more in the crease. And then as you see here, a little bit more shine right in the tear duct that really opens up the eyes and really makes the look look really bright and pretty. Now I'm adding a little bit more of that gold mine right in the center of my lid on top of the shadow that I just applied. This is going to give it just a little bit more of a metallic punch. It's not really, really noticeable, but it does add a little bit more of something. Hello, right close into my open crazy eye. So I decided goodbye to the light water line. I want to do something dark and sultry. So I'm putting feline in there. And I'm using the Beauty Blender to hold my eye open so I don't have a finger print in my beautifully highlighted under eye area. Now I'm doing the scary, get the tight line thing. Now you can see the difference between the dark and the light and the water line. So if you have smaller eyes, I'd probably recommend keeping the light there because it definitely opens up the eyes. You guys could tell a big difference. I could. So I'm just doing the other side of the water line. I do like 30 layers of this stuff because I want it to be as black as possible. Now I'm going in with Nabla Shadow in Citron. Citron. Um, this is a really pretty gold, kind of like a greenish gold color, so it really brightens up that inner tear duct. 
Now going back in with a little bit more Memesis. Now I'm starting to really give that sultry look really, really deep in the shadow. And I'm still using a 224, just a smaller but fluffy blending brush. Next, you guys get to see the Accentuate Sculpting Cream I was talking about in the first clip. I do have this underneath my eyes. I applied it first before my foundation as my concealer slash highlight. Now I'm using a flat brush to highlight slightly underneath my brows. I usually don't do this with something so light, but since my shadow is going quite dark, I wanted to kind of sketch out my eyebrows a little bit more. I don't know. I was feeling the shape that I was doing. So you guys can see here I'm just lightly highlighting with this and blending out the edge. Now I have quite defined eyebrows. Next is Nabla, their mascara, it's called Le Film Noir. And here you can see the brush, it's really big and it's really nice because it goes like tapered small to bigger. <laughs> My boyfriend's making fun of me for saying Le Film Noir. What, I told you guys I'm learning French, I gotta practice my pronunciation. Anyways, so this mascara is one of my new favorites. I think especially the brush is awesome. Since it's so tapered in the front, you can get really, really close to your smaller lashes and get really close to the lash line. And then whenever it's time to kind of feather out the lashes, you have those longer hairs. So these are Lashes by Lena in Gorgeous. And as you can see, they're gorgeous. I really love these and I think they're fabulous and they're beautiful and big and not so natural but still natural and what more could you ask for I have another video applying lashes if you guys want to see that in more detail it's before this one so check it out wow what a difference now finally for the lips I have myth one of my favorites it's almost gone sad face well I can get more it's not limited thank goodness so I'm applying this to my lips first because I don't want my lip liner to be too crazy for the first time ever in my life so I'm applying the myth first now I'm taking NYX this is a lip pencil in Eden I always say Eden but maybe it's ever no I think it's Eden and I'm putting this on the outer edges first and then I'm actually gonna fill in my, my entire lip with this color so this is giving me a really soft pink nude it's not too light but I'm gonna put more on to make it more light thank goodness can't go out with really really not nude lips Finally, my favorite palette of all time, using Blunt by MAC and Blushing Bride by Ben Nye, I'm going to be doing my cheeks. So first doing Blunt is my contour, and then this is Blushing Bride. It's a really soft matte pink. It's beautiful. Now, highlighting with Push Makeup. This is White Diamond, their cream highlighter, one of my favorites, and I'm actually popping it into the inner tear duct as well. On top of that citron, it's called citron, um, and just giving it a little bit more of a brighter push in there. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to dance around a little bit because I'm a freak. Here we go. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. I don't really know what that does, but everyone else says it. So give me a thumbs up, fools.